All right, so I'm just gonna take a quick minute to address a couple of things. So I do recommend anybody who's checking out this crazy thing that Michael's putting out there trying to uh, talk about my Collective 2 track record. Uh, right here, Collective 2 issues, if you guys want to see this. So after that record was out there for, I think it was like three and a half years, um, when we switched back to attempt to use futures, yes, we determined that Collective 2 still has issues and specifically issues around their technical support. Now you might be like, well, Collective 2 is a big company. Da, 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 da. Well, let's talk about this. If they're such a big company, then why were they writing to me, begging me for $25,000 to put into their angel investors fund to save their ass from losing their entire company? Now you'd be like, well, Vinny, you're being facetious. You're exaggerating. Okay, well, here's the Collective 2. Dear Vinny me, today adds unpleasant news. Collective 2 needs to increase the percentage it charges trade leaders when a strategy subscription is purchased by a customer, they explain all this, blah, blah, blah. Main parts here are, let's just circle this part right here. It says, because Collective 2 is currently losing money. It's that simple. Folks, this is from Matthew Klein himself, who is the CEO of Collective 2. This was in the same year that these issues were happening. Their servers are garbage because they are having to literally piecemeal their stuff by. They are not a robust, robust company. This is the example of what happened when we tried to hit on futures. When the markets become volatile or our system is hitting theirs, which is normal pace for us, is too fast for them. You cannot put in more than a trade per every three seconds. Their system crashes. That's crazy. So I can't go tat, tat, tat to get into a trade, which is how I normally enter. This is an example. Their website was literally down trying to get to my trade system at that time. Literally, this is their error message at C2 status on Twitter, folks. You cannot make this up. It's right here. The whole site was down. This is an example of what was happening. This day, they left a trade open that I had already closed. This is what was going on. These are the churn throttle error messages. Folks, I didn't make this stuff up. This all happened on this day. These are what was going on. I started calling Collective 2 support. They were unhelpful. They did not want to fix it. They did not want to admit that their servers were trash and garbage. They know that they have these issues and they throttle. If you haven't seen this error message, let's look at those. No more signals can be fired. It said I couldn't do anything for five minutes. Now, how was I supposed to know that? Look at this. What trading system do you know that literally says no more signals can be posted until five minutes? What are they talking about? What crack is this? Collective API? Are you joking me? Anyhow, Folks, we've been all the way over this. This was years ago, but they want to bring up the past. It's fine. We're going to bring up ICT's past. This whole thing was explained out in this screenshot right here. The six-month track window where we were trading a competition against Oats to a Million, he blew out right here, and we officially won the competition. He blew out his account right there. We continued on and upward just for the fun of it because people were copying my trade account, and that was fine. They could copy my account, unlike Michael, who blames the fact that when people copy your accounts that your trade accounts go to zero. Well, then why is it that I was able to successfully navigate it for an entire 1.5 years while people were actually trading my and copying my trade track record? I want to know that. Next thing, so here's my dad, you know, getting a year and a half, it's a long period of time. So my dad ended up going to the hospital, he had a stroke, and I had to help him every day. I drove down to Houston and had to wash my own father. It's a very interesting experience, and I'm in Houston at this time. And look, I took two standard drawdowns back to back, and I would say that, yes, a mental part of my game had been disrupted, dealing with my father, trying to be at my parents' home, trying to trade. It just didn't work. Um, at this point, I don't even remember what we were doing with this, but I had basically been like, all right, we're not dealing with Collective 2 anymore. And this is a whole like year and a half space of time. And then somebody said, hey, Collective 2 is working again. Or again, they said that, oh, well, seems like, hey, they didn't go out of business. But hey, Vinny, why don't you go try their stuff out again on uh, Futures? So went out there, tried it. Sure enough, their system is still garbage. This is not my track record going uh -huh. to zero. Why would all of a sudden a system that's been working just fine all of a sudden go to zero? That doesn't happen unless there's a technical issue, which again, it wasn't on my side. This is the API between Collective 2 and my system. Their API will not catch back up. Their system is complete garbage. When I went to try to get them to correct it, you guys can see the entire conversation between myself and Matthew Klein. And all of that is history. Now, I want to address one more thing while we're here. Oh, sorry, my son's over here hanging out. Um, one more thing right here. So Carlos is a very enthusiastic ICT member. We, I'd be curious. We're going to track him down and see what his connection to ICT is. I mean, very, very um, over the top, this little individual. He, I asked him to respectfully come in our room. There was zero respect had. Um, and he's just in here, you know, basically being a turd. 
Um, but I do want to address one thing, you know, hear from him. We're still going to let him gab on this week if he wants to, you know, show off. Apparently, he's excited about making $400 in a week. Um, we make $400 in a minute. So, I mean, look, he just doesn't know where he's at. Sorry, my son is going crazy over here. Um, so, you see this? Why? Okay, I've heard this several times now um, from ICT. He's out there saying something about, oh, Vinny tried to sell his house twice or something like this. And I'm like, what is he talking about? So I realized what's going on here. Check this out, folks. Um, he's saying overinflated price. So apparently they think that my $1.25 million price tag on my house is overinflated. Well, if you haven't seen my place, I mean, I think it's worth it. You guys can do your own judgment on that. You guys can go check that out if you'd like. It's on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. Um, but right here it says listed twice, buddy. Okay, this thing right here, let's talk about this. I wish I could zoom this in. I don't think I can zoom in here. Twice. Let me explain something about my home that we have here. This is a mansion, what we live in. There were literally two families living in this house before we moved in. Not me. I'm talking about the people who were there before us. Um, can't remember their names. I'll get the names for you guys. They were a, one was a doctor family and I forget who the other was. But there were two families living in this home. They were Buddhists because I remember when we came through looking through the home and everything else, there were little Buddha statues everywhere. But there were two families living in this house. Folks, when they sold this house to me, they had to yield over. Both of them sold the house to me, single owner, because listen, folks, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but listen, I've got money. ICT doesn't. He doesn't even know that this is even possible. Two families selling it to me, since they're going out there and looking at sales records for houses, they should be smart enough to interpret that. It's not that I tried to sell my house twice. They, two people, sold this house to me. Go look it up. Look at the tax records, and you will see that the tax records went from two tax records being paid each year down to one when I took ownership over this home. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you have any questions around that or you can't figure that out or understand that, that's because you're likely an ICT student. Thank you and have a good evening and good luck and good trading as you were. See ya!